In this video, I'm going to go through the process of creating an RPG zine from the initial concept all the way to the printed product. The first part is coming up with your initial concept. For this, I wanted easy to run dungeons on a minimal setting that I could fit into any campaign, small format. I chose A6, easy to carry, cheap to print, and it wasn't gonna take long. I started by writing an outline. I just wrote a list of locations. I kept it very vague. This gave me a starting point. Uh, to start drawing the maps and also having this outline really helped me from staring at a blank page for too long when it came to doing the main writing. Usually I just draw first and then start writing. This really sped up the process a lot. After I wrote the outline, then I moved on to drawing the maps. So I kind of had a vague idea of each map I would be drawing. And as I drew, it gave me more ideas. So the final product ended up a lot different than the outline. Stuff in the outline did not end up in the final dungeons or evolved into something else. I drew this town map that I ended up not using. The whole out town outline changed completely. So writing and layout, in this I did these at the same time. I write in my layout software. I don't recommend doing this. I think it's probably best to write in Google Docs or some word processor, and then you start laying out after that. But I had already picked the size, and I think because I'm a graphic designer, I approach everything from a layout perspective. So writing and layout does help me write pretty quickly because I know how much space I have to fill, but it does cause some difficulties when it gets to editing. For the illustrations in this, I didn't do many illustrations. I didn't do any illustrations except this cover illustration actually. For this specifically, I had a stockpile of small drawings and doodles that I used that just seemed to fit the stuff I had. So after I had it written, it goes to editing. And this is where there's some difficulty because I write in the layout software. I had to copy everything I'd written and then I bring it to Google Docs. And I have a Google Docs document that I send to the editor. Uh, Fiona Geist edited this. So she goes through, adds her uh, edits as comments, and then I go through and I can accept or reject the edits she has made. And I pretty much accept all the edits the only time I don't accept an edit from an editor is usually because it doesn't fit into the layout. But uh, yeah, I need editors. If you saw all those comments, I have terrible grammar, spelling. So always hire an editor if you can and listen to what they say. So for printing, you need to set your document up to print. You need to add bleed if you want any of the artwork to go all the way to the edge of the page which I only needed the cover to do that. And then I printed through Mixum. Their options are pretty limited, but the price is pretty good for these small quantities. So I got the final product in from the printer and I really like how it turned out. These booklets will be going out in the mail to patrons at the Paranormal Researcher and Paranormal Entity levels on Patreon and they are for sale right now on my website, highlandparanormalsociety.com. You can get these and some other books I have in print, and you can always get the PDF from the Patreon or on my itch.io page. I hope to do some more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and have a good day.